Yesterday don't matter. You've tuned into T.C. McCarthy, the most handsome and entertaining science fiction author on video. Thanks for tuning in. Another episode in my series of tiger burning videos related to my book coming out in July of 2019 from Bain Books. Tiger Burning. Now, you can pre-order it, and I've explained in this video, pew, why that's important to me, but I'm going to go ahead now and jump into the video, and what are, we going to, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, in the past, we've talked about how scary our solar system is. Let's move out of our solar system. We did in the last video, which I'll link to here, pew, and continue in our exploration of the galaxy, which is very strange, very weird, sometimes scary, but in this case, we're going to focus on the weird and the strange. Scientists discovered a megaplanet, an exoplanet that is about five times the size of Earth, which means that it has an intense gravity that basically would make it very difficult for you and I to function on. But that's not what's weird about it. What's weird about it is originally scientists looked at that planet and thought, aha, it might, be cons it might consist primarily of diamond. But then when they did further study, they realized that it really, really had a lot of calcium and aluminum in it. And, and researchers went, aha! You know what? The crust of this planet may consist primarily of, drumroll please, rubies and sapphires. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be interesting? I know my wife would love to go to that planet, as I'm sure many, you know, I would too, but um, it just turns out that those are two of her favorite stones. Uh, and, and it's very, it would be very interesting to go there, land, and just be surrounded by precious gems. Those, those, if you know anything about geology or gemology, ruby and sapphire are from a family called corundum, which is an aluminum silicate. Aluminum silicate or aluminum oxide? Anyway, one of those two. I'll go ahead and I'll, when I finish doing this video, I'll look that up. But ruby and sapphire are basically the, the same chemical composition, except that they have, in terms of impurities, they have different kinds of impurities that give it the blue color versus the red color. Both are very hard gems, very beautiful, and on Earth they're relatively rare, which is why they're precious gemstones. What's the name of this planet? Well, it doesn't have a name, and it really bugs me when astronomers and scientists do this, but they gave it basically a combination of letters and numbers. This one is HD 219134B. And say that three times fast. HD 219134B. Um, anyway, it's as I said, it's very large, very interesting, very strange, and they're still looking at it, trying to figure out exactly what's going on with that planet. The other neat thing about that planet is they're realizing that it's not the only one of its kind. The more they look at these massive exoplanets outside of our solar system, elsewhere in the galaxy, they're starting to realize that there, there are a lot of them, and they're up to two or three that have this very strange calcium and aluminum rich composition. Now I did a video, video earlier about what if we bring back an asteroid with lots of platinum and gold. Pew pew! Well in this case, what if we go to one of these planets and just bring back spaceships full of rubies and sapphires? Well, they wouldn't be as precious then, would they? But you know, what's interesting to me is as we look at these planets with um, this massive amount of basically massively dense you know, five, ten times larger than the Earth, I start to wonder, are there different kind of crystalline structures and forms? And probably people have looked at this, geologists have looked at this. But could we get forms that are completely foreign to us that we haven't predicted and that result that basically on these other planets are extremely rare and so that we wind up one day with a completely different form of, you know, of um, gemstone class. And then wedding rings will have big, you know, I don't know what you would call them, HD... 213914 or something, you know, instead of diamond. Uh, uh, but anyway, I really like this stuff. The concept of, of explorers going to another planet that consists almost entirely of ruby and sapphire is tremendously exciting. It's so exotic that it's fun to look at. And hopefully, you know, I usually look for pictures after I do these videos. Hopefully I found some cool artist concepts of what this would look like. But that's all I've got for this one. Sorry about the length of this. It's a relatively short video. Again, buy my book, July 2019. Doesn't mean you can't pre-order it now. End transmission. Hey, TC McCarthy here, the most eclectic and entertained science fiction author on YouTube, maybe even the internet. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. As usual, buy my books. I've got a new one coming out in July, and uh, I'll have a giveaway coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Appreciate you subscribing to my channel, and please, 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 please don't forget to click that little bell icon so that whenever I upload new content, you get notified. Thanks again. See you soon.